welcome and thank you for checking out my youtube channel let's get into what i have for you today in this video we're going to be learning how to set up outlook for company email now let's get right into it now you want to visit microsoft.com and then you want to click on uh, products should drop down like so click on pricing for business that should open up so you want to select the first plan or if the first plan is not going to be enough for your company you can choose any other plan that suits your uh, budget with from business basic to standard to premium no, not this one obviously because i don't think this one has an email uh, functionality just um, storage basically so you want to click the first plan buy now that should um, open up wait for it and once that open up you'll be asked how many um, users are you registering this email for so I'm just doing it for one person you will also be asked how you want to be making payments do you want to be doing this on a monthly basis or every year so you can choose the one that best suits your uh, payment um, payment plan or payment so I'll just do one month for me and then scroll down you click on next now they will ask you for an email address here now the email address you're imputing here is where you're going to be receiving information about your um, about your corporate email and other things that, um, that are relevant to your account so enter your email so I would enter my own email like like so you can enter any email you want and then click next now it will bring out this prompt and say it looks like you don't have an account you can just click on set up account now it will ask you to enter all these informations now Microsoft will attempt to verify your phone number so I would opt for text send verification code that verification code should be on your phone right now so you enter the code that has been sent to you and click on verify now once your phone number has been verified you'll be presented with this screen now i want you to do something for me microsoft will give you like a temporary um, domain maybe not temporary though but that's what you'll be using to sign to sign in henceforth this is what you're going to be using this tutorial step you're going to you're going to choose a username at this domain then dot com I'll, i'm going to make that make sense now so next time you're logging in that's how you're going to be logging in so let me show you something so you want to copy out whatever you're giving here like so copy it out on a notepad with the password that you've chosen and keep it safe now if you're okay with your username and domain name that you have been presented to by microsoft after saving it on a notepad you want to click on save here and then you want to choose a password so I'll just choose a simple password so that we can move fast and then you click on next wait for that to create our account so before we proceed further Microsoft will ask you to enter your um, payment uh, details so you click on add payment method I'll add my payment method and I'll be right back so you do the same so my card has been accepted and I believe yours has been accepted too so you just click on accept agree and place order accept agreement accept agreement place order so we wait now you can simply just click on start using Microsoft 365 business basic click that should open up like so and it would ask us to sign in 
Now you remember your username I asked you to keep in a notepad. Go and copy it and paste it here with your password. That's my username. You click on next. Then enter my username as usual. All right. So welcome to the to your Microsoft 365 admin dashboard, which should look like this. So the next thing you want to do is to connect your domain. You want to click on setup. You want to scroll down a little bit and then click on get your custom domain set up. You want to click that. And then you want to click on the get started button. And then it will load up like this. And then you want to enter your custom domain. Mine is tutorial step. Tutorial step dot click excuse me and then you want to click on use this domain that should open up like this <clears throat> then we need to configure our we need to configure our dns so you can select uh the second one we'll be using the mx record and then you want to click on continue now on your c panel or any other place where you are managing your your dns records you might already have an mx record there before now so you can edit that mx record and use for your purpose uh, so i'll copy this first one like so head there let's click on zone editor on your c panel and i click on my domain name like so I click on manage and then just click on add new record oh no sorry there's already an mx record here so i'll be editing this one since i'm not going to be using it so microsoft is 3600 just like you have here uh, the tt here is 3600 the priority is 32767 you want to copy that like so you want to put that here and then the destination is here you want to copy it like so want to go back to your own file one click paste it there like that everything looks perfect you want to click on save record that should save up like so now it will take about a few hours for that to propagate it will take a while and you know so we have to wait until microsoft can synchronize with our domain so let's see if it works Oh, perfect domain setup is complete now you click on done so our domain has been connected to Microsoft successfully now if you want there is quite a number of things you can do with Microsoft 365 a whole lot that you can do with Microsoft 365 if you want to get a first-hand knowledge on office on Microsoft uh, 365 you can go to learn learn.microsoft microsoft.com here you can learn about microsoft office 365 just pick microsoft office sorry uh, microsoft okay yeah office 365 there's quite a number of things you can do there microsoft so if you want to learn more this is your best bet when you click on search it should bring out free trainings that you can that you can pick here you can see it you can just narrow it down to training like so so you can just learn about microsoft 365 here and other interesting thing you can do there so let's continue you then click on manage and that would open up like so so uh, this is going to be our default now if you don't connect if you don't connect your domain name this particular one is what Microsoft would assign to you but because we've connected our domain name so this is the one we're going to be using so let's go back to users now and, and create a user for ourselves so I'm going to create because I I I only um, I only register for one license so I'm entitled to only one email so I just click on add a user add a user 
so just say uh, support uh, tutorial step tutorial step display name support tutorial step I'll just I'll just create an email for support okay that's perfect you can automatically create password then you can require uh, this user to change their password when they first sign in which is cool or you can send the password to the user uh, through another uh, email address you can clean this and put another email address there but I would rather create a, an, um, uh, a password automatically then you want to click on next uh, it's asking me for location perfect no problem and then I just click on uh, okay because I think I have an issue with my payment so I'll just say create user without product license I'll just say next finish so I'm having issues with my payment that's why I'm unable to do that so uh, if we refresh we should have our email address uh, created awesomely right there so you can see support at tutorialstep.click so this email now I can send and receive email from this account using my Microsoft Office 365 so how do you check your email you can easily just uh, click here or just, just go to um, outlook, outlook.com like so uh, just, um, I didn't see my password though but that's not an issue I can always click here to change my password and always just click there to change my password like so so I can just click reset password it will give me my password so this is my password so I can just copy this uh, like that and then I come here and just click on sign in so accounts so uh, login login.live.com so you can support support at tutorial tutorial dot tutorial step dot click then you click on next you can see it find my account it sees that I'm here I'm a corporate user can you see that now I'm a corporate user so I can just paste my password and sign in but there will be issue here because okay can you see can you see that so because I selected that um, I will change my password on my first login so you enter the current password and then you want to change to a new password like so and then you want to click on sign in so if everything is working fine I should be able to sign in yes so this is the error I said would happen why because my account is showing uh, unlicensed why because there was issue with my card can you see that unlicensed but if yours is showing licensed that means when you're able to sign in here you can send and receive email you can use Microsoft SharePoint you have access to I think um, about 50 gig uh, of storage you can use OneDrive you can do quite a number of things depending on the um, depending on the plan you chose to go with uh, on Microsoft I hope this has been informative for you if you have any question or you have uh, or you encounter any issue just drop a, um, a comment I will respond uh, to you as best as I can and if you also encounter any trouble you can easily just come to this help and support and chat with Microsoft uh, for any support that you might need Thank you very much for watching. Another one brought to you by Tutorial Step. Have a nice day. Bye.